What's going on, Foodie Fam? It's your main man, Dame Drops, back again with the best and worst rated restaurants psh, right here in my state. Now, dig, baby. Um, it's time for us to go ahead. We just got finished beating up some tacos, best and worst, no doubt. It's time for us to slide on over to these Buffalo Wings, see who has the Buffalo Wing game on Smidash. Now, <clears throat> As always, I pose the question to my Facebook community because, again, it's centralized when you do those kind of posts to where you live. And Connecticut was like, you need to slide over to B-Side by Blackjacks out in Bridgeport, Connecticut when it comes to the wings. And the way I actually choose who I'm going to go with when all the answers start coming in is who gets voted the most. And as you guys can see as we're scrolling through it, B-Side by Blackjacks is receiving a lot of love. And so that's exactly where we're going to slide over to. Now... With that being said, I went to look them up on Yelp. Zero, absolute zero love on Yelp, but they do have love on Google. So we're gonna read the Google reviews for this location, but I'm still gonna type it up in Yelp and be the first one to type up whatever my experience is when I get there, when I get back home, all right? So sit back, relax, get comfortable. Let's go ahead and get up off into some of these reviews for B-Side by Blackjacks. This is a great spot. One of the gems of Bridgeport, Connecticut. The wings were incredible. The type of wings that had the perfect amount of crisp on the skin. Outstanding flavors and decent pricing too. Drinks were nice and the atmosphere was a good vibe. I came from out of town, but I will make it a point to stop by for the food and the pregame when I go back. And uh, that was a five star fam. Next one, five star. The food is amazing and so is the service. Definitely will be back. All right, next one. Five star. I love, freaking love it here. Owner is the best. Service is amazing. Food is top tier. Did I mention it's owned by a black woman? Please, you better go get yourself here now. Look, all I'm saying from these reviews is the service is A1 from day one. I like that. And they're definitely talking about the food game too, saying that, you know, the wings are incredible. So I'm kind of excited because I do love, y'all know, y'all know me. I'll look, all food reviewers, food critics, food influencers, everybody's different. I like crispy things, baby. I like the crunch and munch for lunch. I like it bunched up and pause. But what I'm saying is when it comes to some good food, certain things I do like for them to have a nice crisp on the skin, especially some wings. And then I need my meat to be tender. I need it for it to be moist on the interior. I need to be able to bite up into some actual chicken and not straight cartilage. You know what I'm saying? I need that thing to be cooked properly. So, so far we're looking good in the hood. Now let's go ahead on to this next one, which is again, another five star. Vibes, spent my Sunday here after brunch with a few friends. Music was on point, food was gas, straight fire. Drinks on point, couldn't ask for it to be any better. Look, they, they talking that talk. They saying the establishment is on its A game, food game proper. Loving the vibes there, you know what I'm saying? So this must be like one of those chill hangout spots after work, happy hour type joint. Like I'm getting that kind of breakdown as I'm reading these reviews. Look, let's go ahead and read one more review for B-Side by Black Jackson and let's slide out to Bridgeport, Connecticut. Mm. Ambiance, B-Side is a great addition to Bridgeport's dining experience. It's lively with an up-to-date vibe that's hard to find around here. The DJs play a great mix of music, the decor is hip hop inspired, which I love because you get some great photo ops. Now for the food. The wings are really, really good. I also had the steak and cheese fries, which were great, but were missing their signature sauce, which is my favorite part, sad face. It was busy, so it took a while to get fixed, which leads me to the staff and service. The staff is fun, warm and laid back, so it feels very inviting. A bit more sense of urgency on behalf of the servers would be great, but again, it was a bit busy, so that probably accounted for some of the wait time. The only other suggestion I have is serving the margaritas in a margarita glass so that I can take my cute pics for social media. Other than that, I really enjoyed it. I've been for brunch and dinner so far and definitely plan on going back very soon. Highly recommended. So heavy on the five star for this spot up over here. And look, from what we've been reading, fam, it seems to be the spot to go to, you know, for the food, for the service, for the ambiance. It seems to be that go to spot. So let's go and find out for ourselves oh, what the wings hitting on, them buffalo wings to be exact. Y'all know the vibes, man. 
You new around here, stay true around here. Be sure to like, comment, subscribe, tell a friend, tell a friend. Psh, Dame Drops is back again. And uh, in order to get to Bridgeport, we definitely got to cue the music. Foodie fam, you already know the vibes. We're out here right now at 1450 Barnum Avenue, Bridgeport, Connecticut, at B-Size by Blackjacks. Now, we done already read the reviews. Everybody's mad amped up about the food up over here, service over here, vibe over here. I'm just here for some buffalo wings, man, and you know, we're gonna try a little something, something else as well. I'm doing a lot of filming today. You're gonna see this outfit in the worst reviewed as well because your boy just been eating, eating today, doing fat stuff. But uh, let's go slide up inside B-side, you heard? side brunch menu. Want to get your brunch on on the days that they're open. I'm going to hit you in the head with the hours too, of course, but you got the brunch menu activity. Flip that bad boy over. And then you have baskets, you have wings, subs, sandwiches, burgers. Hold up, wait a minute, all right? Yeah, that sounds crazy right there. I'm not even going to hold you, fam. They have a lot going on with the menu, but we have to remain laser focused we're here for the buffalo wings, though. Fam, tell me you see this ground turkey egg roll action with the wild parsley up off in there. Onions and cheese looking extra crisp. They gave me a sweet teriyaki dipping sauce to boot. I'm about to get busy. French fry game looking crispy. Buffalo wings, honey garlic wings, B-side burger in the building. Let's touch these egg rolls. Now, I done took a bite. Crispity crunch right off the muscle. You couldn't hear it, unfortunately, but that thing right there was blazing. Something amazing, and the flavors were so well pronounced. The ground turkey and onions worked great together. These fries right here, I had to get the business. Crunchy, crispy, crispy, crunchy, and it was hot too, baby, straight off the muscle. I was looking at these fries, I said, oh, y'all wild, Chris. Y'all hit the deep fryer activity. Now, they were a little greasy. I'm not even gonna hold you, but the salt game up on there was a nice little salt hand adding great flavor i dipped them up off into this sweet and spicy sauce right here family i hit them i was like oh what's that right there what's that little donkey kick and that sweet and spicy sauce must have a little bit of sriracha in there for the kick now the buffalo wings that's what I'm talking about. Did you see the pull on the meat? That's that tender, moist meat right there, that juicy, loosey meat right there, that, oh my goodness, the flavor is so right. It had me dancing up in my seat. Fam, I had to hit that thing one more time. Got that spiciness up off in the buffalo sauce too. It wasn't no mild kick. It was a kick all up in my throat. Tolicles. I wasn't ready for it, but I held it down like the champion I am. Now, I had to go with the flats, because are the flats good as the drums? Yes, yes they are. I'm getting a nice little chew right there, a nice little light crisp on the skin, pinky up for extra hood bougie flavor. You can see the meat for itself on the flat. Look at that peel back right there, looking like a toupee the way it peeled back. Oh my goodness, it's topical, baby. I'm talking about topical. Also, you catch it in the back of the throat too, right up in the throat tolicles. That's good buffalo sauce. Now, the honey garlic wings, family. These joints already in my hand. I felt the hardened exterior, so I already knew I was getting a crisp when I took a bite up in there. That tender meat just popped off in my mouth, but the great sweet flavor of the honey. Garlic was lightly pronounced, but this thing was amazing, family. I'm talking about I went in for another bite. I was looking forward to that bite. All the great flavors rushing in, working well together. Got me up over here, double dribbling, double dribbling. I tell you, family, this thing was banging. Y'all needed this chicken. I'm over here getting down to the cartilage. I don't even care. This is the type of chicken that is so good, you just want to eat the bone itself. Pause, family. But you know, I'm just trying to tell you, it was boop, 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 banging out the frame. Now I'm talking to my cousin because she took one of my buffalo wings, took it straight to the wig, big bites, and I guess the spice caught her in the throat. I had to ask her if she was okay. She's doing just fine, but watch yourself. Now, the burger game 
game, the B-side burger, also has that teriyaki sauce on the burger. Beef looked thick. Cheese looked like it was ready to put in work. I took a bite soft bun activity right there. Great flavors mingling well together. I wasn't even ready for it. I had to get another bite, family. That burger was crazy. I even took down the crunchy water. You hear what I'm saying to you? Great flavor burger, thick burger, winning burger. Let's take this thing to Yelp. All right, fam, we are back from B-Sides by Black Jacks in Bridgeport, Connecticut. Wow. Like, that's all I can really say is, wow, at the end of the day, that food was amazing. I was looking for something to probably be, like, a little off because when I get that much food, not everything hits. And I understand it is what it is, but that was the first time where everything was actually hitting, y'all. And I was like, it was worth the wait. And when I know I have a little wait coming about in a lot of these establishments, you know, kind of expectation is the food is going to come out hot. You know, and they didn't drop the ball on that one. They didn't even slack, not even a little bit. I think um, maybe the only thing close to lukewarm, like a little between lukewarm and hot, would be the egg rolls. That's fine. Everything else, I'm tasty. Very, very tasty. They have no problem with seasoning here. They have no problem with experimenting here, taking it to the next level. You can tell the food is cooked with a lot of love. Let's go ahead, slide over the up, and be the very first to review B-Side by Blackjacks. And I gave them a five piece. Family, it feels good to be the first to leave a review of this location. Now, I pulled up and was not sure as to when they would open because Google said one thing, 5 p.m., but then their Instagram read another, 7 p.m. And something told me to pull up at like 5.50 to see if they would be open at 6 p.m. I called and yes, they were open at 6 p.m. And so I went in to do my filming thing. The menu was not extensive, but everything I read on the menu was something that I wanted to try outside of my buffalo wings, and so I got a little crazy. I had ground turkey egg rolls to start. They were not piping hot, but hot enough to enjoy the packed turkey bite with the onions and the cheese that flooded the crispy egg roll. It was both thick and delicious, and we had a few pieces of joy to play with here along with the spicy maple sauce. Wasn't sure if it was teriyaki in it or not, but it was delicious. Moving along to these buffalo wings. As mentioned in the Google reviews, the skin is crispy. The buffalo sauce opened up my nostrils. That is how I knew the spice was so nice on this one and deep rooted. The chicken was hot and moist, tender with a decent amount of meat within. Each wing just kept getting better than the last. The flats were hitting all the right notes on this musical masterpiece, baby. I hopped on over to the honey garlic wings, slightly sticky and sweet. The garlic was light in flavor, but again, with these wings being cooked the right way, not overcooked nor overlooked, but understood and loved, I received the type of wings meant for champions. Those crispy french fries were also a nice salted up treat. Each bite of that fresh potato action made me go back for more. They even came with a sweet yet spicy sauce. Maybe there was some sriracha in there for a kick? I'm not sure, but it was awesome. I even had the B-side burger using the same teriyaki sweet sauce that came with my egg rolls and the beef was tender too. It has a thickness about itself that worked well with the extra soft bun, straight potato bread style. I was quite impressed with this entire meal selection that I can't wait to go back for more. You hear what I'm saying to your family? You hear what I'm saying? Y'all saw it for yourself. I don't even think that this breakdown on Yelp properly explained what I had today at B-Side, man. I just can't wait to go back, continue running up through that menu just to try other food items. And look, I hope to see you guys there. I also hope that you guys have been enjoying these drops every single day, Monday through Friday, man. Let me tell you, that doing these dailies definitely puts a toll on my regular life schedule. But I want to make sure, man, that I'm really showcasing these restaurants in a way that they probably don't always receive the love and or be been spoken about the right way. You know, I just... I just want to be that individual to really get them out there and get as many out there as possible before we start moving on to another state. I want to be thorough. I don't want to just come through for something quick and just be done with it. And I know I've been covering Connecticut for a long while now, but we have a lot of mom and pops out there that need the love at the end of the day. And like I said, I can't wait to move on to New York and Massachusetts and can't wait to slide out there to Detroit, you know what I'm saying, and slide to Chicago and ah, have myself a little fun going outside man i can't wait but you enjoyed the series please slap a like on this video that lets youtube know that you're really checking in and if you if you leave a comment with slap and a like that lets the algorithm really know that you check it for these and you want to see more of them i greatly appreciate y'all man keep it crispy and i'm gonna see you tomorrow with more